<laughs> what else caught our eye is Ooh. the... Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I, ow, 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 ow. I'm always nervous, that's why. <laughs> Here we are. Now, this is something different. You don't have to be nervous, because it's not about your chompers, OK? This <laughs> news story uh, from Cairns, it caught my attention during the week, and it's about a bad breakup. No. Oh. A Cairns mother has been forced to block dozens of calls after her ex-partner allegedly took her phone number and plastered it on polls here around the CBD, telling people to call up and impersonate Chewbacca for a chance to win $100. This would be the most childish breakup I've ever had. Like, all you had to do was be mature and go, I don't love you anymore, I want to move on. <laughs> I won 500 bucks. <laughs> just the, the boyfriend made him ring her number and do the Chewbacca, which right. is... It, it's a silly child. I wouldn't friend. recommend it, do it. But, oh, well, I just... I, was, I found it amusing. and So we're going to go around and do our best Chewbacca's. I'll start it off. Bondi, you ready? One, two, three. There you go. We're not going around. <laughs> Are we live, TJ? Do no, we go to a <laughs> oh. Well done, Bondi. <laughs> <Good work. laughs> now, Billy, when the producer oh, came to you and said, hey, listen, I've got one for you, <laughs> what did you think? <laughs> I, I found it amusing. <laughs> You've upset the water. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. That was good, Kane. Did you like that, Kane? Best one I've seen. Hey, I've had a bit of time <sighs> on my hands um, recently. So I got, got me thinking about TJ oh. and Chompers and just, just some variations of what he might look like <laughs> if he was uh, you know, a different species. I, I want to start with what would TJ look like if he was a baby? So let's go back to 1943 oh, when he was born. <laughs> Where's the helicopter? TJ as a baby. And then I thought to myself, what would TJ look like? What would he look like if he was a fish? A I, mean, fish. I had a lot of time on my hands. So, so here's TJ as a fish. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Oh, no. And I'm a big believer in aliens. Oh, I love aliens. So what would TJ look like as an alien? Well, <laughs> there he is. There's TJ oh, no. as an alien. So, <laughs> Tane, you want to get that's been good. Uh, too, it's been good. It's just too so ridiculous. <laughs> Why would you even come uh, up? Come on, oh, you come up good. with something good. Uh, now, Kane, oh. Kane, I think it's fair to say oh. you, you, you are an open book, and sometimes we'd love to slam it shut. But I think it's fair to say you're an open book. I mean, you are very active on social media. It's like, oh, my dog just did a poo. Hashtag dog. Hashtag poo. Oh. Right? And you post it on social media. I mean, it is riveting stuff. <laughs> Do, I mean, oh, that's that. so childish. But this one, yeah. this one, I didn't actually see on your social media account, so I had to delve very deep into the dark spaces of the internet to find this one, Kane. You might explain it later. What the yeah. hell is that? Who is it? Well, the things you do for your children, TJ. My son's got a YouTube channel called Aussie Morgs. He wanted me to feature. I said yes. <laughs> yes, not my finest moment, but uh, we all do sacrifices for our children, don't we? No, not like that, we don't. Sometimes you can say no. Now, <laughs> yeah. now you've got to respect well, your leaders, don't you? You do. And we've always got a great respect for you, our fearless leader, <laughs> on this show. Yeah, but this is like, I'm not saying you're about <laughs> yeah. on a campaign. campaign. Oh, no. Unfortunately, on the Today Show, Carl oh. Stefanovic this week didn't have the same respect for you, TJ. No. Oh, no. Uh, as experts warn, the traditional welcome kiss or handshake could be consigned to history, replaced by a sterile elbow rub or a Japanese-style bow. Now, TJ, I don't want to remind you of this, but I, I think don't, Rebecca Judd... Don't Jud even go there, Carl. I think don't Rebecca, go Rebecca there. Judd saw this coming. Don't go there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> OK, good. This is out of respect for you, TJ, out of respect for you, TJ, TJ come on. we no, blurred Carl, it. You know out, out of respect for you, we blurred oh, that, God. because Carl didn't have the same respect, but <laughs> he must have felt pretty bad, or you've given him a spray during the week, because he's actually offered this apology. Oh. Look, this isn't easy for me to do. It's, it's not often that I'll admit that I'm wrong. Um, but earlier this week, I did make a grave error of judgment. Um, to the people of Victoria, 
um, to all the Australians, hate, but most importantly to the much loved Tony Jones himself, I say from the bottom of my heart, I'm truly sorry. To use what many still refer to as one of Australian TV's top five moments as a cheap gag for lols was juvenile and potentially damaging to a man I call, well, I call a mate, as Ray Martin would say. Tony, I love you. And I promise that today's show will never, ever, ever, ever play it again, at least while I'm in the chair. Oh, right, there you oh, go. Geez. Kane, that's yeah, an apology. Oh, mm. um, yeah, yeah, long, so I think a long is the, apology. Does the walk-off still count if we... Oh, if we yes, yes, it does, my friend. I'm, I'm glad well, Carl bring was us home, mate. So I'm glad Carl was big off. enough to actually uh, issue that apology, and I appreciate it. Because he's not real big. <laughs> so you would walk off if we played. Come on, Nate. Come on, Nate. Yeah, well, don't get excited. You won't be hosting. It'll be Damo. Right? OK. <laughs> so... Last week, we saw that Matthew Lloyd thinks that he's some sort of a, a sex symbol. <laughs> a sex symbol, who he said in his own words. Now, I'm not sure where he thought he was coming from in this shot, but this is Lordo as a oh, sex symbol. Oh, I don't know whether a 40-year-old <laughs> librarian, <laughs> but uh, that, that is not a sex symbol outfit, Lordo. What is that? I'll, I'll cop that. Look yeah. how happy you are with yourself. I, I had my brother's hand-me-down, so yeah, that's how happy you are Two with yourself. Matthew yeah. love Nana. <laughs> so, but it gets better. It gets better. And we've seen this one before. We've seen the creepy uh, Al McPherson oh, TJ God, vision. Have a look at this. That's not creepy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the question. TJ posed the question about the lingerie, which was a bit weird. No, she was promoting a line. Yeah, but you, it, it just this a bit a weird, a bit lingerie. creepy. Now, our own Lordo had a, his very own go at it oh. as well. <laughs> and teenage girls harbour simple, sweet right. fantasies of just one good. magical date with the man of their adolescent oh, dreams. Us guys probably love seeing, um, you know, Al and you know Claudia and stuff like that. It might be the same for them. Oh, <laughs> oh no, no, no! You will put yourself up there, with Lord. I think she set me up. I think. Oh. It was, it was, it was, it was, that might be the same for them. Do you? One question. Do you do your hair? I don't know. Go to that. Lou, Lou yeah. Richards used to pose the question, have you got love bites on your mirror? No, I did, I did back then. I don't think they want anyone with big calves or custard guts. I think they moved from there. <laughs> you had that jumper on, you were oh, a chance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it all break.